so Thromka, if you're if you're looking for a WoW 2, and what most people mean when they say WoW 2 is new engine, new graphics, new shit like that. I think a lot of people are expecting things that is just outside the scope of possibility for any gaming company, to be honest. So let's look at Final Fantasy and how that rework worked. So they had just launched Final Fantasy 14 1.0. It was a single expansion or game, and it was a single world that they had to overhaul. They did it because the original world was absolutely dying. Now let's compare that to World of Warcraft and, and what an engine overall would look like in World of Warcraft. You have so many expansions, so much history, so much built up nostalgia within that world. Trying to revamp that, trying to overall that, even if you're not going for a WoW 2, let's just say you're doing an engine overall. The amount of work, because the thing with engine overalls is it's not just, oh, we're going to switch to a new engine. Great. You know, let's just import all of the files. That's not how that works. So, so the current files that make World of Warcraft run won't work on the new engine. So you're basically going to have to go in and you're going to have to change or recreate every single one of those files. Let's say Blizzard wanted to do this. Let's say that there was this movement within the company and it was gaining ground. Now, what would be the reasons for Blizzard saying, um, yeah, maybe not. Let's not go that route. You're talking about time and money. Lots of it because all of your developers are now going to work non-stop trying to get the game to work on a brand new engine with brand new graphics, fidelity, all that shit. Most things will have to be completely recreated from scratch because it's not just going to be imported into a new engine and bam, Bob's your uncle. You then have to ask yourself a question if you're the company. So let's, let's turn ourselves into Blizzard and we say, okay, we can either continue making the game that we're making now and we'll, we'll make money. We, we won't get a lot of the new people in, but we will have players because we do have players even now. Even though the game has gone through a lot of shit, there's still people playing it. We make our money because at least the development of the original engine have completely been paid off. All of the work that they're doing in the engine, it's paying for itself, it's, it's perfectly fine. Is it worth it to completely overhaul everything and start from scratch? Is, is that worth it, considering the amount of money? So let's just imagine a number. Let's say it costs them, on average, a new game, a new AAA game will cost anywhere from 100 to 150 million. US dollars to make. That's that's how much it costs. That's not including all of the failed projects. That's just looking at the initial cost for making a new game. With MMOs, that number goes up considerably. But let's just say, let's say Blizzard's been 50 million doing it. Well, now they have to ask themselves, will we make that money back with our investment? So we've built this new WoW, we have WoW 2, it's all glorious and beautiful graphics and everything's new. But are we going to make that back? And the usual question that they ask themselves uh, for any investment, if you if you work for a company or if you have a company, uh, investment has to pay itself back in three years, not more. If it takes four or five years, that investment generally isn't worth it. So you have to ask yourself, can I make 50 million back in three years? But that's not the only equation here because... It's not as if you're starting from zero. This isn't your first game. You are replacing an old game. So first you have to ask yourself, okay, over the next three years, how much would I have made with the old WoW? Let's throw out a number and say 25 mil. Okay, cool. So I would have made 25 mil. I've just spent 50 mil making a new WoW. So in order for me to break even, so just to break even, that's all of the engine costs plus the costs lost due to not using the old game anymore, but going for the new game is now suddenly 75 million. I have to make 75 million before I actually start turning a real profit because I would have made 25 million no matter what, right? If I did nothing new, I would have made 25 million. I'm now not making that 25 million. I've spent 50 million on top of that and I'm hoping to make all of that back because otherwise it's just not a worthwhile investment. I'm not even talking about profits yet. So over three years, I probably want to pay back my investment, everything that I possibly lost and then some because I, I want to turn a profit. So at the end of the day, though, that level of input cost just makes it not worth. Why would I spend that amount of money for uh, the chance of making more money? And then you risk losing a lot of your actual player base because they don't give a fuck. They, they don't want the new graphics. They don't like the new graphics because a lot of gaming is about feeling. It's how we feel. Um, and it might be that when you overhaul all of the graphics and the engine and everything works differently, players just don't like how it feels. 
they prefer the old way of making uh, of playing WoW. So you may lose players. It, it just becomes a mess. I think World of Warcraft has gone too far. The way in which I see World of Warcraft doing a WoW 2, if it wanted to, and let's put WoW 2 in sort of quotation marks, you spin off from Wrath of Lich King. This is myself and Rudokon have spoken about this uh, quite a bit. The perfect place for WoW 2 is a spin off from Wrath of the Lich King. We just now got Wrath Classic. At the end of Wrath Classic, Blizzard have a choice. Blizzard could do Cataclysm, right? Cataclysm Classic. They could potentially do Mr. Pandaria Classic. I see classics drying up at the end of Mr. Pandaria Classic. I don't see people lining up to play Watt Classic. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see people lining up to play Legion Classic, especially considering you could still today, for the most part, play Legion. Right? So I don't see people lining up for more classics after really Mr. Pandaria. The argument for me would be Wrath of the Lich King offers Blizzard with a perfect jump-off point. It is absolutely perfect. Why? Because we kill Arthas, and at the moment of Arthas' death, Sylvanas takes over. Sylvanas grabs the Helm of Domination, puts it on her head, and declares herself the new Lich Queen. And boom, the story takes off in a brand new direction. You now have Sylvanas as the Lich Queen, Maybe an ally in the future, maybe not an ally in the future. Who the fuck knows? No one cares at this point because Sylvana is now chilling. She's taken out Arthas. Uh, and the story can now go into a million different uh, cathedrals and areas and, and play styles. That would be the only realistic place I can see a WoW 2. For this, you can probably remove some of the mistakes that you made because a lot of the mistakes for WoW started in Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, and you can make sure that you don't have those mistakes and that the game is different enough to where they don't really impact each other. And how do you explain this? Timelines. We already have timelines. So effectively, these two World of Warcrafts, World of Warcraft Retail and World of Warcraft Alternative, do not interfere with each other because they're not on the same timeline. We're now just playing through a new timeline where Sylvanas became the Lich Queen and that led to a whole new level of stories uh, versus the timeline that we're on where we're in Dragon Isles, you know, and we're doing the Dragon, Lines, uh, Drag Dragon Isles stuff and then after that and after that. Uh, that's the way that I could see a WoW 2 play out. And I also think that's the best of both worlds because some people are going to prefer the alternative one. Some people are going to love the retail one. And it isn't really going to matter. So that would be my best guess. Uh, Aureus, why don't you like that? And the Jailer is not canon. Yeah, because in that timeline, the Jailer doesn't have to be canon, right? We can all agree Kata Underwater Zone gave us all anal cancer. Yes, I hate it. Um, like I've I've always hated underwater combat and and playstyle in WoW. The engine just does not support it at all. Feels cheap though. They should just have kept retail good or at least decent. Growfall. It's not about feeling cheap. It's about offering different stories. WoW can do that. It's got nothing. Why would that be cheap? We have separate timelines in World of Warcraft. It makes perfect sense within the lore, and it allows you to create a second game from just a different jump-off point, right? Jesus, each village. That, that was a high price Blizzard paid? Fuck. Growfall, yeah, but, okay. You're not following what I'm saying. What was an alternate timeline that still slotted into the retail timeline. I'm talking about a complete deviation from the retail timeline. In other words, the retail timeline doesn't exist in this new WoW. It's never going to slot into the retail WoW. Retail and this new WoW is never going to come together. Retail WoW is going its own direction, and this new WoW is going its own direction. It has nothing to do with each other anymore. I'm married to our WoW story as it is. Uh, that is why I hated Watt's story. Yeah, but you still have your WoW story, Aureus. 
Retail is still continuing. You have that story. You never have to play Alternative WoW. Alternative WoW is for people that don't like retail, that want a different WoW, that want a different story, that don't like the way the story this time went. It gives Blizzard a lot more freedom. I feel like you guys are just disagreeing because you don't want your game to die and no one is suggesting that your game should die. It's literally two different games. It's just two different games in the same IP. Yeah, but this this okay. Uh, you can play WoW two then if you don't if you don't want to play retail, play WoW two. But WoW two is never going to happen. This I can guarantee you, it's not happening. There's not going to be a WoW two. In my opinion, Diablo four is the replacement for World of Warcraft if World of Warcraft's Dragon Isles do not work. If Dragonflight the expansion doesn't work, uh, Blizzard is going to go balls to the wall with Diablo 4. Because Diablo 4 is an MMO. I don't care what anyone fucking says, it is an MMO. If you look at, uh, you have a shared world, you have giant world bosses, you have dungeons, you're probably going to have raids at some point. It's an MMO. And it might be that that's what Blizzard is doing. They don't know if WoW is going to be able to survive and WoW 4 is there to ensure that even if wow doesn't survive they still have their mmo this time around though it, it is not a pay to play mmo it's a buy to play mmo and they can have as many cash shops as they want so yeah that, that's sort of I, I don't see a wow 2 at all in the future for wow